Hi guys, you're tuned in to another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms at I Am Church London. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all major streaming platforms. May God bless you. Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, depending on where you are. May the Lord bless you all. This is the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I'm your host, Brother Kevin. May the Lord bless you all where you are. Shalom. May the Lord bless your families. May the Lord bless your homes. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So the aim of this podcast is to help us to build stronger prayer lives, to help us to build a stronger relationship with God, to help us be in communion with God, to help us grow in the faith, and most importantly, to help us cut soul ties, to help us cut covenants, alliances in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Shalom to you all. May the Lord bless you. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So I'm going to do the opening prayer before we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad within it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your word says, where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be there within their midst. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for allowing us to come into your presence. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this prayer. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you come and take control. We bind and we destroy anything which may not confess your name. Every spirit of distraction, every spirit of tiredness, of fatigue, every spirit which may come to cause confusion, we bind and we destroy those works in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. We plead for the blood of Jesus to cover us. We plead for the blood of Jesus to sanctify us, to cleanse us. And we pray for your Holy Spirit, Lord, to take control of us in the name of Jesus. We pray for your kingdom to come and we pray for your will to be done. In the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I'm your host, brother Kevin. So the theme that we're going to explore tonight is the importance of prayer. Why the importance of prayer? Prayer will enable us to overcome obstacles. Prayer will allow us to come out of prisons Prayer will give us domination, authority over the work of the enemy. And if we want to be able to do all of this stuff, it will only be done through prayer. We can't overpower the enemy through money, gifts, negotiations. No. We can only overcome the enemy through prayer. If we look at the account of creation... In Genesis chapter 1, if we go down to verse 28, the word of God says to us, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and all the animals that scurry along the ground. The English Standard Version says to us, that was the NLT version, The English Standard Version says, And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So if we look at this account, when they're talking about the sea, the heavens, these are places where there's powers, there's forces, dominations. And when we see here where he says, have dominion over the fish, over the birds, these are all entities, the spirits and powers that God is telling us to have dominion over. And this is only possible through prayer. And when you pray at night time, dearly beloved, it's a whole different ball game. If we look at Genesis again, chapter 32, 
the Bible shows us how Jacob wrestled with God. The word of God says, The same night he arose and took his two wives, his two female servants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream and everything else that he had, and Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Dear beloved, this here demonstrates how much endurance Jacob had. It demonstrates how much perseverance and how much persistence Jacob had. Jacob fought so much that God actually said to him, let me go. Dearly beloved, this encounter that Jacob had with God, it was at night time. When the enemy comes and you fight and you, and you stand your ground and you persevere and you're persistent and you display endurance and spiritual stamina in your prayer, dearly beloved, the enemy also will say, let me go. The obstacles also will fall down the covenants will break, the soul ties will be cut off in the name of Jesus. The word of God says to us, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. One thing us children of God need to understand is, including myself, we can't always expect immediate results. You can expect immediate results sometimes with certain things, but with other things we cannot always expect immediate results we can't always give up after our first failure sometimes failure is good because it gives us an opportunity for us to grow and to improve and to get better at what we're striving to do a real change takes time and good things come to those who wait another thing us children of god need to understand is being strong sometimes means that you have to be alone. The Bible says in Luke chapter 5 verse 16 that Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. The same with Moses at the burning bush and on Mount Sinai. The same with Elijah, the same with David. These are all biblical examples of of prophets who are very very strong that you and I should follow so in order for us to receive our proper deliverance in order for us to come out of these soul ties to come out of these chains in order for God to use us to bless us sometimes we have to be alone look at Joseph Joseph got sold by his brothers and he went to Egypt all alone and God blessed him. David used to be out in the fields looking after sheep and goats. But God, through Samuel, anointed him in the prince of his brothers. And the Spirit of God came over him powerfully. And he became strong from then on moving forward. Abraham left his father's house with Lot eventually they separated God blessed him Abraham today is known as the father of the faith so what I'm trying to highlight here is being alone is not bad the word of God says to us though we can boldly say that the Lord is our helper for he will not abandon us nor he forsake us so technically we're not really alone because God is always with us and the word of God also does say two people are better than one because they can help each other succeed so I'm not trying to tell anyone to go and uh, leave your friend or your siblings or whatever or leave your, your husband or your wife no 
I'm just saying sometimes to draw closer to God, to have a better relationship and understanding of God, sometimes one must be alone. This also will help you become a better version of yourself. If we go back to the book of Genesis 32, when Jacob wrestled with God, The word of God says in verses 25 When the man saw that he would not win the match He touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of his socket So imagine if someone touches your hip And they wrench it out of your socket How much pain will you feel? How much agony will you be in? Imagine the level of discomfort that you will be in but this is what one has to endure sometimes to become strong, to develop endurance. One has to go through things like this. This could be failure, rejection, depression, sickness, poverty, divorces. The enemy will throw everything at you. And I mean everything so you can just crumble and just say, nah, I'm done. That's it. But Jacob, because he was strong, he took the risk and he continued fighting until God said to him, let me go. Jacob could have called his two wives, his two servants, he could have called his children to come and back him. But Jacob stayed alone and he fought till the morning. And he fought and fought and fought until he won. If we read on verses in verses 29 it says he said to him please tell me your name Jacob said why do you want to know my name the man replied then he blessed Jacob there Jacob named that place Peniel which means face of God for he said I have seen God face to face yet my life has been spared if someone removes your hip from his socket you'll basically be stagnant You'll be paralysed. You won't be able to walk. So this verse here, it basically demonstrates that the enemy won't stop. When the enemy sees that you're winning, when the enemy sees that you're going to where God wants you to be, the enemy will not stop. They will do everything that they can. Everything, and I mean everything everything so that you can lose but we cannot lose because overwhelming victory has been given unto us through Christ Jesus so I want you to always remember that and no matter what the enemy throws at you we are victorious so I want us to pray on our next episode we're going to explore the importance of prayer once again so we're going to do it over a period of time And the next time we meet up, we're going to explore sin. We're going to explore how sin is a channel and how sin is like a door in the lives of the children of God. We're going to look at the transition between summer and winter, how covenants are renewed, how people are recalled back into prison, how sacrifices are made and the consequences these acts have on the children of God. Please kindly share the live stream. Please kindly share the links. Share it with all your families and your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Invite somebody to come and join you in the presence of the Lord. You could be helping somebody right now who is in very urgent need of prayer. Invite somebody to come and pray. The prayer is going to be in English from beginning till the end. So I invite somebody to not miss out on this opportunity the word of god says to us in acts chapter 16 verse 25 but about midnight paul and silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to god and the prisoners were listening to them dearly beloved we all know what happened after that after this paul and silas their chains fell off and they came out of prison dearly beloved we are about to pray 
for all those who have joined us welcome to the midnight prayer podcast this is i am church london and i'm your host brother kevin i welcome you all shalom may the lord bless you may the lord bless your homes may the lord bless your families okay so let's prepare and let's pray in the name of jesus So we'll begin to pray where you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice, Father, and we shall be glad within you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your loving kindness in our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace and your mercy. Dearly beloved, lift up your voice. Begin to worship and glorify the Lord. Thank him for everything that he has done. Show him how grateful and how thankful you are. Show him how appreciative you are for what he has done in your life. Thank him for his overwhelming victory he has given to you in Christ Jesus. Thank him for his faithful promises, which is your armour and your protection. Lift up his holy name. Thank him. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the breath of life you have given to me. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the good health you have given to me. I thank you for your divine protection in my life. I thank you, Father, for you have forgiven my sins. I thank you, Father, for you have spared my life. I thank you for you have spared my family. I thank you for you have spared my home. Dearly beloved, where you are, lift up your voice. Begin to praise and worship the Lord for everything that he has done. Begin to exalt him. Begin to glorify him. Begin to magnify him. Begin to lift him up because he alone, he is our God. He alone, he is our savior. He alone, he is our redeemer. He alone, he is our redeemer. He alone, he is our strength. He alone, he is our fortress, our shield and our refuge thank him praise and celebrate his name exalt his name glorify his name magnify his name lift up his name in the name of jesus praise and exalt him give him allegiance and give him acclamation because he alone he is our god he alone he is the king in front on high he alone he is the alpha and omega daily beloved lift up your voice where you are thank the lord for his divine intervention thank him for his great power and his great strength thank him for his overwhelming victory who is like our father who is like our savior there is no one there never has been there never ever will be the word of god says may every living thing that breathes praise the lord dearly beloved lift up your voice praise the lord for everything that he has done in your life praise and worship him for his love praise and worship him for his mercies praise and worship him for his great power and his great strength praise and worship him because he is the most high god he is the king in front on high thank him father in heaven we exalt you we glorify you for you have given us almighty god creator of the heavens and earth good health for you have given us roofs over our heads you have put food and water on our tables we bless and we celebrate your holy name we exalt your name father and we glorify you we magnify you lord and we lift your name on high in the name of jesus dearly beloved lift up your voice where you are praise and celebrate his name thank him for everything that he has done thank him for everything that he is about to do thank him for everything that he is about to do in the mighty name of jesus the word of god says let us approach boldly before the throne of our gracious god where we can obtain his mercy and his grace in our lives for when we need it the most dearly beloved where you are i want you to plead and pray for the lord to have mercy upon you ask for the lord to forgive you for your sins your iniquities and your transgressions daily beloved look at your conduct look at the way that you carried yourself look at the way that you fell short of the lord's glory look at the way that you sinned against yourself look at the way that you sinned against the holy spirit look at the way that you sinned against others uh, daily beloved plead and pray for the lord to have mercy upon you in the name of jesus uh, the word of god says he is a compassionate god he is a merciful god he is slow to get angry he is filled with unfailing love father in the mighty name of jesus forgive me for the sinful nature forgive me for the lust of the flesh the worldly desires forgive me for the impurity the immorality everything i done which made me almighty god fall short of your glory for your word says almighty god if i say i am without sin that means i make out your word not to be within my heart and that means i make you out to be a liar father in the mighty name of jesus forgive me forgive me lord for my wrongdoings forgive me lord god almighty for the anger the bitterness the cupidity the greed and the rage forgive me heavenly father for the immorality forgive me heavenly father for the impurities forgive me heavenly father for the unkind speech forgive me heavenly father for the thoughts that i had 
had. Forgive me, Heavenly Father, for the ways that I made others feel. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy upon me, your child, in the name of Jesus. Your word says, great is your faithfulness and your mercy begins afresh each and every single morning. May your mercy begin afresh in my home. May your mercy begin afresh in my family. May your mercy begin afresh in my life, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, dearly beloved, pray and ask for the Lord uh, to send down his mercy in abundance in your life. Pray and ask for the Lord uh, to send down her. Uh his compassion. Pray and ask for the Lord to show you compassion in the name of Jesus. Pray and ask for the Lord to forgive you. Pray and ask for the Lord to look past your wrongdoings in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, have mercy upon me, your child. Have mercy upon me, your son. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says, all have sinned, have fallen short of your glory. Father in the mighty name of Jesus, forgive me, your child. Forgive me, your son. In the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me, Father in heaven. Forgive my family for every way in which father that it caused me almighty god that it caused themselves to come out of your presence forgive them almighty god for everything that they done which never glorified your name father have mercy upon my home father have mercy upon my home have mercy upon my family have mercy upon my surroundings in the mighty name of jesus father in heaven i pray for your compassion in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved lift up your voice where you are in the name of jesus sir plead and pray for the lord to have mercy upon you plead and pray for the lord to forgive Give you for your wrongdoings, plead and pray for the Lord to forgive you for your sins and your iniquities and your transgressions in the name of Jesus Christ. Plead and pray for the Lord to have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus, sir. The word of God says, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Sir. The word of God says to us, sir, in the name of Jesus, this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. The word of God says to us, sir, now we are united with Christ Jesus. Once we were far away from God, but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of the Lamb. Plead for the blood which was shared on the cross to wash you, to cleanse you and sanctify you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says we were washed, we were sanctified and we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of our God. In the name of Jesus, plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. Plead for the blood which was shared on the cross to make you clean. Plead for the blood of Jesus to sanctify you, to remove, to remove all uncleanliness, all impurity all soil that is inside of you in the name of Jesus sir the word of God says to us sir, in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our sins sir. begin to plead and pray for the blood of redemption the blood of justification to come down in your life sir. in the name of Jesus sir father in heaven creator of the heavens and the earth sir. cleanse me lord sanctify me lord wash me lord make me whiter than snow heavenly father in the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus sir your word says almighty God and they overcame him by by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony i begin to declare that i am victorious through the blood of jesus christ i declare that i have rights to redemption through the blood of jesus christ i declare that i am justified through the blood of jesus christ i declare that my ransom has been paid through the blood of jesus christ i declare that i am blessed i am free through the blood of jesus christ I declare the power of family curses, of generational curses, ancestral curses, the power of curses is broken in my life in the name of Jesus. I declare that the power of the law is broken in my life in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus that there is no condemnation. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation for the blood of Jesus Christ has paid my ransom. The word of God says now I am united with Christ Jesus. Once I was far away from God but now I've been brought near to him through the blood of Christ the word of God says there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus and because I belong to him the power of the life giving spirit has set me free from the power of sin that leads to death I declare the power of sin is broken through the blood of Jesus Christ the power of death it is broken through the blood of Jesus Christ which was shed for me in the name of Jesus sir father in heaven creator of the heavens and the earth holy spirit of the lord I invite you to take control in the name of Jesus sir. for the word of God says those who are led by the spirit of God they are the children of God daily 
beloved, invite the Holy Spirit into your life. The word of God says, don't you realize your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God. You no longer belong to yourselves for you have been bought at a high price. Dearly beloved, invite the Holy Spirit to come and reign in your heart, to come and reign in your mind, to come and reign in your body, in your soul, in your spirit, in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit to manifest his power in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you'll be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the ends of the earth. Invite the Holy Spirit dearly beloved. Invite the Holy Spirit dearly beloved. Invite him to take control. Invite him to manifest his power. Invite him to take control. Invite him to manifest his power in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit we invite you. Holy Spirit come and take control. Holy Spirit restore us. Holy Spirit deliver us. Holy Spirit deliver us. Holy Spirit deliver us. Holy Spirit transform us. Holy Spirit make us strong. Holy Spirit we pray that you give us wisdom in the name of Jesus. The word of God says and I'll send the Holy Spirit just as the Father promised but stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you up with power from heaven. Holy Spirit fill us up with your power from heaven. Fill us up with your wisdom from heaven. Fill us up with your understanding from heaven. Make us whole in the name of Jesus. Fill us Holy Spirit with your discernment, with your insight, with your intelligence, with your knowledge from heaven. Holy Spirit fill us with your authority with your strength from heaven in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, reign and dominate in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Holy Spirit, guide us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, show us the way in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reign and dominate in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you open my spiritual eyes open my spiritual ears in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit give me a heart that will be receptive to your word give me a heart that will obey your word in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit I invite you take control in the name of Jesus sir take control in the name of Jesus sir invite the Holy Spirit to take control of every activity that is happening inside of your home invite the Holy Spirit to seize every spirit sir, that is inside of your home every spirit sir, every spirit that is controlling every spirit that is monitoring every spirit that is serving as a guardian within your home I invite the Holy Spirit to seize that spirit I invite the Holy Spirit to dominate and take control over those spirits in the name of Jesus I invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus spirit of truth spirit of understanding spirit of freedom spirit of Jesus Christ manifest your power in the name of Jesus manifest your power in the name of Jesus manifest your power in the name of Jesus manifest Manifest your power in the name of Jesus, sir. Manifest your power in the name of Jesus, sir. Invite the Holy Spirit, dearly beloved. Invite the Holy Spirit, dearly beloved. Invite him to take control. Invite him to reign. Invite him to dominate in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the Lord, we call on to you. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself. Manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, we are praying against every plan, every project, everything that the enemy has arranged, everything that the enemy has already put in place place against our lives against our families against our homes we're going to pray and we're going to cancel those works in the mighty name of jesus begin to cancel every plan of the enemy father in the name of jesus christ we are deprogramming we are cancelling every project every plan every conspiracy every 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 project uh, that is in the works uh, everything that the enemy has put in motion against my family against my home against my life uh. father your word says thus says the lord god it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass Uh, dearly beloved begin to declare it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass Uh, begin to declare it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass Uh, stand your ground declare in the name of jesus uh, everything that the enemy has planned against me every project that the enemy has arranged against me it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass cancel those works in the name of Jesus sir cancel those works in the name of Jesus sir cancel those works in the name of Jesus sir cancel those works in the name of Jesus sir cancel those works in the name of Jesus sir the word of God says take cancel together but it will come to nothing speak the word for it will not stand for God is with us declare in the name of Jesus Christ every plan every project that the enemy 
has planned against me, against my family, against my home. Thus says the Lord God, he shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says from six disasters, he will rescue us, even from the seventh, he will keep us away from evil. In the name of Jesus, begin to deprogram every programmation, every conspiracy, every project that the enemy has planned against me in the rivers, in the forests, in the mountains, in the hills, in the heavens, the star, the moon, declare in the name of Jesus that those works are, those works are void, those works are powerless, it will not succeed, it will not prevail in the name of Jesus, it will not succeed, it will not prevail in the name of Jesus. Declare daily beloved, declare daily beloved, declare in the name of Jesus, stand your ground, every project, every plan that the enemy has arranged, that the enemy has put in place against your family, against your home for this month of November for the end of this year declare it it is void it is void it is void it's powerless it will not prevail it will not succeed it will not come to fruition it will not be successful in the name of Jesus Christ deprogram those works in the name of Jesus deprogram those works in the name of Jesus the word of God says overwhelming victory has already been given unto us through Christ Jesus who loved us in the name of Jesus Christ begin to deprogram every work of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says in Job chapter 5 verses 12 he frustrates the plans of schemers so that the work of their hands will not succeed declare daily beloved every plan that is happening against me every scheme every conspiracy that is happening against me I declare in the name of Jesus it will not succeed it will not succeed it will not succeed it will not succeed every plan every scheme happening against me in the world of the dead in the river in the forest I declare in the hills in the mountaintops in the heavens it will not succeed in the name of Jesus the word of God says he traps the wise in their own cleverness so that their cunning schemes are, are thwarted declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the work of the enemy the scheme of the enemy it will not succeed in the name of Jesus it will not succeed in the name of Jesus it will not succeed in the name of Jesus the word of God says no curse can touch Jacob and no magic has any power against Israel in the name of Jesus Christ begin to declare daily beloved every curse every curse pronounced against me in the heavens every curse pronounced against me in the sun in the moons in the clouds every curse pronounced against me in the river every curse pronounced against me in the desert in the mountains in the forest every curse pronounced against me in covens every curse pronounced against me in the house of fishes priests every curse pronounced against me in my father's house in my mother's house the word of God says no curse can touch Jacob and no magic has any power against Israel in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says in Psalm chapter 54 verses 5 may the evil plans of my enemies be turned against them do as you promised and put an end to them declaring the name of Jesus declaring the name of Jesus declaring the name of Jesus cancel every curse pronounced against you cancel every curse pronounced against you cancel every curse pronounced against you cancel every single curse pronounced against you cancel every single curse pronounced against you cancel it in the name of Jesus dearly beloved stand your ground cancel those curses in the name of Jesus the word of God says to us in Jeremiah chapter 51 verses 55 for the Lord is destroying Babylon he will silence her loud voice waves of enemies pound against her the noise of battle rings through the city dearly beloved pray whose loud voice is shouting against you whose loud voice is pronouncing curses against you whose loud voice is declaring that you should fail is declaring that you should be stagnant is declaring that you should die is declaring that you should be sacrificed is declaring that you should be used that you should suffer pray in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says the Lord is destroying Babylon and he will silence her loud voice begin to silence those voices in the name of Jesus begin to silence those voices in the name of Jesus Pray dearly beloved, every voice that is rising up against me in the river, every voice that is rising up against me in the cemeteries, every voice rising up against me in the forest, in the desert, in the mountains, in the hills, in the heavens, every voice that is rising up against me that I should suffer, that is rising up against me, that is declaring that I should suffer, that is declaring that I should die, that is declaring that I should fail, that is declaring that I should be rejected, that is declaring that I should be sick, that is, that is declaring that I should be 
be stagnant. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that that voice be silenced from this day forth in the name of Jesus. I silence that voice in the name of Jesus. I silence that voice in the name of Jesus. I silence that voice in the name of Jesus. Silence those voices dearly beloved. Silence those voices dearly beloved. The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 10 verses 8, take counsel together but it will come to nothing. Speak the word but it will not stand for God is with us. Declare daily beloved whatever that they're declaring against you it will not stand. 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 In the name of Jesus the word of God says but in that coming day no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. Dearly beloved who is accusing you in the kingdom of darkness? Who is accusing you in the kingdom of darkness? Who is accusing you in the symmetry? Who is accusing you in tombstones? Who is accusing you in the river? Who is accusing you in the forest? Who is accusing you who is accusing you in dark places? Who is accusing you under the green trees? Who is accusing you on the hills? Who is accusing you in the heavens? Who is accusing you on the sun, on the moon, on the stars, in the clouds? Who is accusing you? Who is accusing you? Who is accusing you? Who is accusing you? Silence that voice in the name of Jesus. Silence that voice in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, In that coming day, no weapon turned against me will succeed. In that coming day, no weapon turned against me will succeed. The word of God says, I will silence every voice raised up to accuse me pray dearly beloved every accuser of my home every accuser of my family every accuser of my health every accuser of my destiny i silence your voice in the name of jesus christ i silence your voice in the name of jesus christ i silence your voice in the name of jesus christ i silence your voice in the name of jesus christ the word of god says to us in job chapter 5 verses 21 you will be safer from slander and have no fear when destruction comes Pray dearly beloved, every tongue that is pronouncing slander against me, every tongue that has a mission to ruin my reputation, that has a mission to ruin my image, that has a reputation to ruin, to ruin my destiny. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I silence that tongue. I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved pray. Daily beloved pray. Daily beloved pray. Every tongue that is pronouncing slander against me. Every every tongue that is pronouncing evil against me to stop me from entering into my destiny. Every tongue that is pronouncing evil against me, wickedness uh, to stop me from moving forward, uh, to separate me from people, to ruin my image, to ruin my reputation. I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. Uh, I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. Uh, I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus. Uh, the word of God says in Psalm chapter 31 verses 20, you hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Uh, Dearly beloved, we are sheltered in God's presence. Uh, far from accusing tongues, pray in the name of Jesus. Every accusing tongue, every accusing tongue, every accusing tongue that has a mission against me in my father's house, in my mother's house, every accusing tongue that has an mission against me in my entourage, friendships. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, that accusing tongue be burned by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, I burn that tongue by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Uh, I burn that tongue by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus I burn that tongue by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus dearly beloved send fire to burn that tongue in the name of Jesus send fire to burn that tongue in the name of Jesus send fire to burn that tongue in the name of Jesus the word of God says he rescues the poor from the cutting words of the strong he rescues them from the clutches of the powerful dearly beloved those who work in the kingdom of darkness their tongues pronounce wickedness uh, their tongues are uh, pronounced wickedness uh, and when those tongues are pronouncing wickedness when those words are pronounced against you those words are are pronounced so that it can cut you so that it can injure you so that it can injure you so that it can harm you but the word of God says to us that God will rescue us from the clutches of the powerful the word of God says an undeserved curse will not land on its intended victim begin to pray in the name of Jesus every accusing tongue every accusing tongue every accusing tongue that is rising up against me I pray in the name of Jesus that that tongue be cut off in the name of Jesus that tongue be cut off in the name of Jesus 
Jesus. That tongue be cut off in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, who dares accuse us, whom God has chosen for his own, no one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Dearly beloved, when agents of Satan conspire against you, when they accuse you, when they curse you, when they speak evil against you, when those words come out uh, out of their mouths uh, and it's directed towards you, those words come out so it can cut you, those words come out so that it can harm you and when those words cut you and harm you, it makes you weak, it makes you weak, it makes you powerless, it makes you weak, it makes you powerless but we cannot be powerless, we cannot be weak because overwhelming victory has been given unto us through Christ Jesus and the word of God says, we can boldly say that the Lord is our helper for he will not abandon us nor will he forsake us and the word of God says I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength daily beloved pray in the name of Jesus cancel those curses cancel those curses cancel those curses cancel those curses in the name of Jesus Christ silence those tongues in the name of Jesus Christ silence every tongue which is rising up against you silence every tongue which is rising up against you every tongue that is cursing me every tongue that is cursing my home every tongue that is cursing the fruits of my labor every tongue that is cursing my land I cut off that tongue in the name of Jesus I silence that tongue in the name of Jesus I burn that tongue with the fire of the Holy Spirit Pray dearly beloved, pray dearly beloved, pray dearly beloved. The word of God says, but God told Balaam, do not go with them. You are not to curse these people for they have been blessed. Silence that tongue dearly beloved, silence that tongue dearly beloved. Cut that tongue off in the name of Jesus. Send fire to burn that tongue in the name of Jesus. Send fire to burn that tongue in the name of Jesus. Send fire to burn that tongue in the name of Jesus. The The book of Galatians chapter 3 verses 13 says to us, but Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law when he was hung upon the cross he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing for it is written in the scriptures curses everyone who is hung on a tree daily beloved pray in the name of jesus christ every tongue every tongue that is rising up against me that is pronouncing evil wickedness against my life the word of god says that jesus christ has rescued me from the curse which was pronounced by the law jesus christ has rescued me from the curse which was pronounced by the law jesus christ has rescued my family jesus christ has rescued my home from the curse which was pronounced by the law jesus christ has rescued me he has rescued my children he has rescued my family he has rescued my home from the curse which was pronounced by the law in the name of jesus sir declare daily beloved declare daily beloved that tongue is silenced that tongue is silenced that tongue is silenced that tongue is silenced in the name of jesus revelation chapter 22 verses 3 says no longer will there be a curse upon anything for the throne of god and of the lamb will be there and his servants will worship him in the name of Jesus. Silence that tongue, silence that accusing tongue, silence that accusing tongue, silence that accusing tongue in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray daily beloved, every curse, every curse, every curse that is following me, every curse that is being directed towards me, I return it back to where it came from, I return it back, I return it back, I return it back in the name of Jesus, I return it back in the name of Jesus, I return it back in the name of Jesus. Declare daily beloved, every Every tongue that is cursing me in my father's house, in my mother's house, every tongue that is cursing me, every tongue that is cursing me in my entourage, in friends, ex-partners, wherever, pray in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, may his curses return and cling to him like clothing, may they be tied around him like a belt, may those curses become the Lord's punishment for my accusers who speak evil of me, return those curses back to the sender, return those curses back to the sender, return those curses back to the sender, return it back in the name of Jesus. 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 Return those curses back daily beloved. Return those curses back daily beloved. Return those curses back. Return it back to where it came from. 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 Return it back. Return it back. Return it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Return it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Return those curses back in the name of Jesus. Return those curses back in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is no curse can touch Jacob and no magic has any power against Israel. Daily beloved declare, daily beloved declare that those curses return back to the sender. Return back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Declare daily beloved that those curses will return back to the sender in the name of Jesus. The word of God says every plant, not planted, but 
my heavenly father will be uprooted begin to declare daily beloved in the name of Jesus uh, every plant that the enemy has planted in my life uh, to destroy my prayer life to annihilate my prayer life to weaken my prayer life I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that that plant be uprooted in the name of Jesus uh, I uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, uproot that plant daily beloved uproot it where it is uh, uproot it in the name of Jesus uh, every plant that is planted against me in my home in my family every plant that is planted against me in my origin every plant that is planted against me in my territory where I live uh, pray in the name of Jesus Christ that that plant uh, be uprooted in the name of Jesus uh, uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, uproot those trees uh, uproot those plants uh, uproot those seeds uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, the word of God says uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, every tree which does not produce good fruit is chopped down and it is thrown into the fire begin to uproot uh, every tree that the enemy has planted inside of you to kill your prayer life every tree that the enemy has planted in your life um, to destroy your prayer life every tree that the enemy has planted in your life uh, in your home so that you can be always distracted uh, so that prayer can be the least uh, of your priorities uh, pray in the name of Jesus uh, for that tree to be uprooted uproot that tree uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uproot that tree uproot that plant in the name of Jesus uh, uproot that tree uproot that plant in the name of Jesus the word of God says the weeds are pulled up and they are burned in the fire begin to burn that tree begin to burn that tree burn up those weeds in the name of Jesus uh, pray in the name of Jesus uh, every seed that is inside of me that has a mission against my prayer life uh, every seed that is inside of me every seed that has been been, that has been planted in my blood that has a mission against my prayer life I pray in the name of Jesus that seed be destroyed by fire 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 in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says he cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce good fruit and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so that they will produce even more the word of God says in the name of Jesus sir, God will destroy anyone who destroys his temple for God's temple is holy and you are that temple pray daily beloved every plant every tree in your life daily beloved which does not produce good fruit which does not produce good fruit pray in the name of Jesus sir, that that plant be destroyed that that plant be destroyed that that plant be destroyed in the name of Jesus sir, lift up your voice and pray dearly beloved every tree every plant which does not produce good fruit in your life which does not produce good fruit in your life which is producing fruits of distraction fruits of laziness fatigue tiredness every fruit so that you can remain outside the presence of God fruits of the flesh impurity immorality Pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot those fruits. 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 Uh, uproot it in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot that fruit in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot that fruit in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot that fruit in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot that fruit in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot that fruit in the name of Jesus. Uh, uproot that fruit in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, every plant that is inside of me that is serving as a point of contact between me and the kingdom of darkness between me and altars of witchcraft between me and pagan shrines between me and altars that are in the rivers I pray in the name of Jesus that those trees those weeds those plants be burned up by fire in the name of Jesus and I break off I cut off that connection in the name of Jesus I break off and I cut off that connection in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray dearly beloved every plant every seed every weed that is inside of you that is serving as a point of contact that is connecting you with pagan shrines that is connecting you with altars of witchcraft that is connecting you with altars that are in the waters altars that are in the world of the dead altars that are planted in the cemeteries altars that are planted in the mountains in the hills in the heavens pray in the name of Jesus that those weeds those plants those trees be burned by fire 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 be burned 
burned by fire be burned by fire in the name of Jesus uh, burn up those plants by fire dearly beloved burn it by fire burn it by fire burn it by fire cut off that connection cut off that connection in the name of Jesus cut off that connection in the name of Jesus every spiritual connection every spiritual connection between my soul and rivers between my soul and symmetries between my soul and forests between my soul and mountains hills deserts the wilderness every spiritual connection between my soul and the work of darkness I break it off in the name of Jesus I break it off in the name of Jesus I break it off in the name of Jesus every point of contact that is planted inside of me receive fire in the name of Jesus receive fire in the name of Jesus receive fire in the name of Jesus receive fire 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 in the name of Jesus receive fire in the name of Jesus daily beloved burn up those points of contact daily beloved burn up those points of contact in the name of Jesus the word of God says have no fellowship with the fruitless deeds of darkness but rather expose them in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved the word of God says therefore do not be partakers with them dearly beloved what has the enemy planted inside of you that is serving as a point of contact what is connecting you with the work of darkness what is connecting you with witchcraft what is connecting you with magic what is connecting you with the spirits of the world of the dead what is connecting you with water spirits what is connecting you with the spirit of the serpent what is connecting you dearly beloved with the kingdom of darkness break off that connection in the name of Jesus destroy those points of contact in the name of Jesus burn up those trees burn up those plants in the name of Jesus burn it up by fire burn it up by fire burn it up by fire in the name of Jesus the word of course is for our God is a devouring fire for our God is a devouring fire for our God is a devouring fire the word of course is behold they shall be a stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flesh it shall not be a coal to be warmed by nor a fire to sit before in the name of Jesus send fire to every seed that is planted inside of you send fire to every seed that is in your blood send fire to every seed that is dominating your bloodline send fire to every seed every weed every plant that is inside of you which does not confess the name of Jesus burn it up by fire 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 in the name of Jesus Christ burn it up by fire 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 in the name of Jesus burn up those plants burn up those plants burn up those plants burn up those plants burn it up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn it up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn it up by fire dearly beloved burn it up by fire 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 destroy it destroy Destroy it, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare that I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Begin to declare that I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. The word of God says, and what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. Begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God. Begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God. Begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God begin to declare that I am the temple of the living God declare it in the name of Jesus 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 begin to pray every plant that the enemy has planted in my home every plant that the enemy has planted in my surroundings every plant that the enemy has planted on my bed where I sleep I command that plant to receive fire in the name of Jesus I command that plant to receive fire in the name of Jesus everything that is planted against me through alliances of witchcraft everything that is planted against me through water alliances everything that is planted against me through alliances of the world of the dead in my living room in my kitchen in my bathroom in my toilet at the main door of my home in my bedroom the landing the staircases the corridors I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus I command it to receive fire 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 
fire. I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Send fire, dearly beloved. 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 beloved. Alliance of witchcraft. A water alliance. Water alliance. Alliance of the world of the dead alliance of the serpent everything that you have planted in my home every power that you have transferred in my home every power that you have established in my home that is controlling me that is manipulating me that is dominating me that is fighting my prayer life that is weakening me that is destabilizing me I pray in the name of Jesus for the blood of Jesus Christ to paralyze that power in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Jesus to begin to paralyze those powers plead for the blood of Jesus to begin to paralyze those forces plead for the blood of Jesus to begin to annihilate those powers to begin to annihilate those dominations in the name of Jesus Christ annihilate that power with the blood of the lamb annihilate that power with the blood of the lamb annihilate that power annihilate that power annihilate that power annihilate that power with the blood of the lamb annihilate it by the power of the blood of Jesus annihilate every power planted against you every power planted against you every power established against you within your home every power that has been transferred through alliances of witchcraft water alliances alliance of the forest alliance of the world of the dead pray in the name of jesus christ pray in the name of jesus christ i paralyze that power by the blood of the lamb i paralyze that power by the blood of the lamb i paralyze that power by the blood of the lamb i paralyze that power by the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus the word of god says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony in the name of jesus christ the word of god says i've given you authority over the serpent over the a scorpion over every force and every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved pray in the name of Jesus pray for the power of the blood of Jesus to begin to paralyze every spirit transferred in your home every spirit planted in your home every spirit established against your home every spirit that is in the form of animals every spirit that is in the form of spirit husbands spirit wives every spirit that is in the form of humans planted against you that works that are working against your prayer life that are working against the advancement of your prayer life paralyze that spirit with the blood of jesus 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 every spirit in my home that stops me from praying i command you to drink the blood of jesus i command you to drink the blood of jesus i command you to drink the blood of jesus i command you to drink the blood of jesus i command you to drink the blood of jesus i command you to drink the blood of jesus in the name of Jesus. The word of course is those who drink the blood of Jesus unjustly, they will be condemned. Daily beloved, pray. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says the wicked will not rule the land of the godly. The wicked will not rule the land of the godly. The word of God says wherever the soles of our feet step foot, it shall be given unto us. In the name of Jesus, begin to paralyze those spirits. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to paralyze those spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to paralyze those spirits. Paralyze those spirits. Every spirit planted in your home that stops you from praying, paralyze that spirit in the name of Jesus. 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 You spirit of the serpent, the word of God is in that day. The Lord says, I will take him. The word of God says in that day, the Lord will take his terrible swift sword and he will punish Leviathan, the swiftly moving serpent, the coiling moving serpent. He will kill the dragon of the sea. Lift up your voice and pray daily, beloved. Every spirit that is in the form of serpents, that is in the form of crocodiles, that is in the form of lions and leopards, that is planted in my home through alliances of witchcraft, that is planted in my home through aquatic witchcraft, that is planted in my home through blood alliances, that is dominating me, that is controlling me, that is manipulating me that stops me from praying i pray for the sword of the lord of isaiah 27 verses 1 to strike down that spirit in the name of jesus i pray for the sword of isaiah 27 verses 1 to strike down that spirit i pray for the sword i pray for the sword of god of isaiah 27 verses 1 to strike down that spirit in the name of jesus daily beloved strike down that spirit with the sword of god in the name of jesus strike down that spirit with the sword of god in the name of jesus strike down that spirit with the sword of god in the name of jesus 
strike that spirit with the sword of God in the name of Jesus command that serpent to be struck down by the sword of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus the word of God says we will crush face lions and cobras we will trample face lions and serpents underneath our feet in the name of Jesus Christ pray daily beloved for that serpent to be struck down by the sword pray daily beloved for that serpent to be struck down by the sword in the name of Jesus every serpent every serpent that I've been placed it in their care every serpent that controls me every serpent that manipulates me that dominates me through covenants through alliances that i've inherited through my bloodline that i've inherited through my bloodline that stops me from praying that stops me from entering my destiny that stops me from fulfilling from fulfilling my purpose here on earth i pray in the name of jesus for that serpent to be struck down 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 down by the sword in the name of jesus dearly beloved strike that serpent strike that serpent with the sword the word of god says in the name of jesus christ rules there above all power and all dominion all rule and all authority every name that is named and every name that is invoked strike down that serpent 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 in the name of jesus strike down that serpent in the name of jesus strike down that serpent in the name of jesus strike down that serpent in the name of jesus the word of god says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony the word of god says in the name of jesus christ we will chase down our enemies and we will slaughter them with our swords five of us will chase a hundred and a hundred of us will chase ten thousand all of our enemies will fall beneath our sword strike down that serpent in the name of jesus strike down that serpent strike down that serpent strike down that serpent strike down that serpent in the name of jesus declare you spirit of the serpent you will not dominate me you spirit of the serpent you will not oppress me you spirit of the serpent you will not manipulate me you spirit of the serpent you will not control me you spirit of the serpent you will not manipulate me in the name of jesus daily beloved stand your ground daily beloved stand your ground daily beloved stand your ground in the name of jesus daily beloved declare you spirit of the serpent spirit from the waters spirit from witchcraft of my father of my mother's house you will not control me you will not manipulate me you will not dominate me you will not influence me in the name of jesus i do not belong to you i belong to christ i do not belong to you i belong to christ i do not belong to you i belong to christ i do not belong to you i belong to christ daily beloved declare in the name of jesus daily beloved declare in the name of jesus spirit of the serpent you are defeated 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 spirit of the serpent you are defeated in the name of jesus every serpent that has besieged my home every serpent that has come from the waters of my father's house of my mother's house that has besieged my home through alliances through covenants every serpent that has besieged my home who has come from the waters of alliances with ex-partners with friends i declare in the name of jesus christ you will not dominate me you will not control me you will not manipulate me you will not imprison me the word of god says in that day the lord will take his terrible swift sword and he will punish leviathan the swiftly moving serpent the coiling rivering serpent he will kill the dragon of the sea 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 strike down that serpent strike Strike down that serpent, strike down that serpent, strike down that serpent, strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus, strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus, strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus, strike down that serpent with the sword in the name of Jesus Christ, strike down down strike down that serpent with the sword, 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 strike that serpent down, strike that serpent down, strike that serpent down, strike that serpent down with the sword in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The word of God says in Job chapter 26 verses 13, his spirit made the heavens beautiful and his power pierced. The gliding serpent, declare in the name of Jesus that the gliding serpent is pierced. The gliding serpent is pierced. The gliding serpent is defeated. The gliding serpent is annihilated in the name of Jesus Christ. The gliding serpent is pierced. The gliding serpent is defeated in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalms chapter 74 verses 14, the word says, Father, you crush the heads of 
of Leviathan. You let the desert animals eat him. Daily beloved, strike that serpent with the sword in the name of Jesus. Every serpent in my home, every serpent from my origin that is stopping me from praying, that is stopping me from fulfilling my purpose, that is stopping me from entering into my destiny. Every serpent that has swallowed my destiny, I command you to be struck down by the sword. I command you to be struck down by the sword. I command you to be struck down by the sword. I command you to be struck down by the sword in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is in Psalms chapter 7, verse chapter 74, verses 13. He split the sea by his strength and he smashed the heads of the sea monsters. Strike that serpent down. 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 Strike that serpent down in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, strike that serpent down in the name of Jesus Christ. Strike that serpent down with the sword. Strike that serpent down with the sword. Strike that serpent down with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike that serpent down with the sword. 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 Strike that serpent with the sword. Strike that serpent with the sword. Strike that serpent with the sword in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus strike that serpent down strike that serpent down in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray daily beloved every evil foundation in my home that dominates me every evil foundation in my home that controls me every evil foundation in my home that manipulates me I command that foundation to fall in the name of Jesus I command that foundation to fall down in the name of Jesus I command that foundation to fall down in the name of Jesus I command that foundation to fall down in the name of Jesus every evil foundation in my home that is representing the curses that is representing the condemnation the laws of my origin I declare in the name of Jesus that foundation to be broken that foundation to be reversed that foundation to be crushed that foundation to be destroyed in the name of Jesus destroy that foundation destroy that foundation destroy that foundation destroy that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ daily beloved pray every foundation every evil foundation in my home foundation of witchcraft foundation from water alliances foundation of the world of the dead in my home that dominates me that controls me that manipulates me that stops me from entering into my destiny that is stopping me from fulfilling my purpose I declare in the name of Jesus Christ may that foundation be broken down 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 break that foundation 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 break that evil foundation break that evil foundation break that evil foundation every evil foundation representing the serpent in my heart Home, I declare in the name of Jesus the word of God says today I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms some you must uproot and tear down destroy and overthrow others you must build up and plant break down that foundation break down that foundation the evil foundation that is representing the kingdom of witchcraft the kingdom of the waters in your home break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 together we are his house built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and the cornerstone is Christ Jesus himself declare that Jesus Christ is my cornerstone Jesus Christ is my cornerstone Jesus Christ is my cornerstone you foundation of witchcraft I break you down you foundation of witchcraft I reverse you you foundation of witchcraft I crush you you foundation of witchcraft in my home I rebuke you in the name of Jesus foundation from the kingdom of waters foundation from the kingdom of the waters in my home here the word of God, hear the word of God, hear the word of God, hear the word of God. The word of God says, For no one can lay any foundation other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. I break that foundation in the name of Jesus. I break down that foundation in the name of Jesus. Every evil foundation in my home, which has come from the kingdom of the waters, which has come from the kingdom of witchcraft, which has come from the world of the dead, every foundation in my home that is representing the curses, the laws, the condemnation, tied, attached 
to my origin. I command you to fall down in the name of Jesus. I command you to fall down in the name of Jesus. I command you to fall down in the name of Jesus. The first book of Corinthians 3 verses 11 says to me, no one can lay any foundation. No one can lay any foundation. No one can lay any foundation other than the one, other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. Foundation of witchcraft, I break you down. Foundation of the serpent, I break you down. Foundation from the kingdom of waters. Foundation from the kingdom of waters. Foundation of a share pose. I break you down in the name of Jesus. I break you down in the name of Jesus. I break you down in the name of Jesus. I break you down in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in the first book of Peter, chapter 5, verses 10, in his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support and strengthen you and he will place you on a firm foundation. Pray daily, beloved, every foundation of my origin that is inside of my home, I break it down in the name of Jesus. I break down that foundation. I break down that foundation. I break down that foundation. I break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ. I break down that foundation in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that that foundation has no power over me that foundation has no power over me for the word of God says I belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God for the word of God says he has enabled me to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus declare daily beloved 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 evil foundation be broken 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 evil foundation I break you down, 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 evil foundation that is condemning me to sickness, evil foundation that is condemning me to failure, that is, that is condemning me to lack of progress, to sickness, poverty, divorce, rejection, stagnation, evil foundation, evil foundation that is representing the alliances of my family, the laws of my family, the curses of my family, evil foundation foundation of witchcraft, evil foundation of the kingdom of waters, I command you to be broken down, I command you to be broken down, I command you to be broken down, break that foundation, break down from that foundation, break down that foundation, daily beloved, daily beloved, daily beloved, break down that foundation, break it down, break it down, break it down in the name of Jesus Christ, break down that foundation, the word of God says that time of darkness and despair will not go on forever, break down that foundation, daily beloved, when you break these evil foundations the soul ties are cutting the soul ties are breaking the attachments uh, the attachments are happening the attachments are happening the prisons are falling down break down break down break down break down every evil foundation in the name of Jesus uh, break it down 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 in the name of Jesus break it down in the name of Jesus break down those evil foundations break down those evil foundations break it down in the name of Jesus Christ the begin to declare daily beloved every covenant established against me in my origin that is tying my soul to water spirits every evil covenant established against me in my origin that is tying my soul to water spirits that is tying my soul to animal spirits every evil covenant established against me in my origin in my origin that is tying my soul with the spirits of the world of the dead that is tying my soul with the spirits of the deceased I pray in the name of Jesus that that covenant be broken by the power of the blood of the lamb I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb i break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb i break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb i break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb pray dearly beloved break that soul tie break that soul tie every evil covenant established against me in my origin that has attached my soul that has attached my blood to watch to witchcraft spirits that has attached my soul that has attached my blood to spirits of the world of the dead that has attached my soul that has attached my blood to spirits spirits of animals i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that covenant be broken that covenant be broken that covenant be broken i break that alliance i break it by the power of the blood of the lamb i break it by the power of the blood of jesus i break that covenant in the name of jesus i break that covenant in the name of jesus i break that covenant in the name of jesus i break that covenant in the name of jesus pray daily beloved every covenant established against you in the kingdom of darkness that has attached your soul that has attached 
attached your soul with the spirits of the deceased, that has attached your soul with the world of the dead, that has attached your soul with rivers, with forests, that has attached your soul with witchcraft spirits. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ that covenant is broken, that covenant is broken, that covenant is broken. Break that covenant, break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus, break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break free from that covenant break that covenant break that covenant break that covenant break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus break that covenant break that covenant break that covenant by the power of the blood of Jesus the word of God says you are the children of the prophets and you are included in the covenant god promised to your ancestors for god said to abraham for your descendants all the families on earth will be blessed lift up your voice and pray the word of god says this is my blood which confirms the covenant between god and his people it is poured out as a sacrifice for many every covenant every evil covenant established against me in my origin with water spirits with the spirits of the serpent with the spirits of animals with witchcraft spirits spirits of the deceased spirits of the world of the dead terrestrial spirits to let celestial spirits pray in the name of jesus for the blood of jesus to break that covenant 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 in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray dearly beloved every evil covenant established against me in my origin that stops me from praying that stops me from entering into my destiny i pray for the blood of the lamb the blood of jesus christ of revelations 12 verses 11 to break that covenant to break that covenant to break that covenant to break that covenant to break Break that covenant to break that covenant in the name of Jesus. Break that covenant, daily beloved. Break that covenant, daily beloved. Break that covenant, daily beloved. Break that covenant, break that covenant. Break it with the power of the blood of Jesus. Break it with the power of the blood of Jesus. Break that covenant now. Break that covenant in the name of Jesus. Break that covenant, break that covenant, break that covenant. Every covenant that has attached your soul with rivers, with forests, with symmetries, break that covenant in the name of Jesus, every covenant, every covenant mandated against me, mandated against me, so I can be stagnant, so I can stay in the same place, so I can turn around in circles, every covenant mandated against me for lack of progress, for sickness, for poverty, every covenant mandated against me, so I can be rejected, every covenant mandated against me, every covenant mandated against me for prolonged unemployment, I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb i break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb i break that covenant by the power of the blood of the lamb i break that covenant 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 in the name of jesus break that covenant daily beloved break that covenant daily beloved break that covenant in the name of jesus christ break that covenant in the name of jesus christ break that covenant in the name of jesus christ break that covenant in the name of jesus christ break that covenant in the name of jesus Jesus Christ, pray dearly beloved, wherever my soul has been consecrated, wherever my soul has been dedicated, wherever my soul is attached, wherever my soul has been sacrificed, wherever my soul has been sold, I declare in the name of Jesus, I belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God in the name of Jesus. The word of God says to all who believed them and accepted him, he gave them the right to become children of God. We are reborn, not by a physical birth resulting from human passional plan, but a birth that comes from God in the name of Jesus. Break Break that covenant, break that soul tie, detach your soul, detach your soul, detach your soul, pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul, pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul, pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul, pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul, pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul, pray for the blood of Jesus to separate your soul, to separate your soul, to separate your soul from every spiritual attachment, from every spiritual communion, from every spiritual alliance between your soul and the river between your soul and the symmetry the world of the dead the deceased the spirits of divinities idols break that covenant break that attachment break that connection break that attachment break that attachment detach your soul detach your soul detach your soul detach your soul in the name of jesus christ pray for the blood of jesus to detach your soul pray for the blood of jesus to detach your soul 
Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, pray wherever my soul has been sacrificed, wherever my soul has been dedicated, wherever my soul is tied, wherever my soul is tied, wherever my soul is connected, I pray in the name of Jesus for the blood of Jesus to detach my soul from those altars, to detach my soul from those thrones, to detach my soul from those spirits, to detach my soul from those prisons in the name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus to detach you. Plead the blood of Jesus to detach you. Plead the blood of Jesus to detach you. Plead the blood of Jesus to detach you from every covenant, from every point of contact. Plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Jesus to detach you from every divinity, from every divinity, from every divinity that is claiming ownership over your life, that is claiming ownership over your destiny, that is claiming ownership over your soul. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you from those divinities. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you from those covenants. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you from those covenants. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you from those pagan shrines. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you, to detach you from every pagan altar. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you from every sacred pillar. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you, to detach you from every Asherah pole in the name of Jesus. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you from those ties in the name of Jesus. Cut off those ties. Cut off those ties. Cut off those ties in the name of Jesus Christ. Cut off those ties in the name of Jesus Christ. Cut off those ties, dearly beloved. Cut off those ties in the name of Jesus. Cut off those ties in the name of Jesus Christ. Every tie between my soul and the serpent. Every tie between my soul and the world of the dead. Every tie between my soul and forests, mountains, hills of witchcraft. I break those ties in the name of Jesus. I break off those ties in the name of Jesus. I break off those ties in the name of Jesus. I break off those ties in the name of Jesus. I break off those ties in the name of Jesus. Every tie between my soul and my origin, every tie between my soul and my father's village, my mother's village, every tie between my soul and divinities, idols, false gods, I declare in the name of Jesus, for the blood of Jesus, to break those ties, 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 I pray for the blood of Jesus Christ, to break those ties, I pray for the blood of Jesus Christ, to break those ties, I pray for the blood of Jesus Christ, to break those ties, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray, dearly be Beloved, every tie, every soul tie that is condemning you to poverty, that is condemning you to critical illness, that is condemning you to terminal illnesses, that is condemning you to diseases, that is condemning you to prolonged unemployment, that is condemning you to, to mediocrity, that is condemning you to failure, that is condemning you to rejection, stagnation, lack of progress, divorce, celibacy, infertility. Pray in the name of Jesus for the blood of the Lamb, for the blood which was shared on the cross to break off to destroy those soul ties in the name of Jesus sir. pray for the blood of Jesus sir, to break those soul ties pray for the blood of Jesus to break those soul ties in the name of Jesus pray for the blood of Jesus to break those soul ties in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray every blood tie every soul tie in my life that stops me from praying that stops me from entering into my destiny I pray for the blood of Jesus to break those blood ties I pray for the blood of Jesus to break those blood ties I pray for the blood of Jesus to break those blood ties to to break those blood ties, to break those blood ties, to break those blood ties in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the blood of Jesus to break those blood ties. I pray for the blood of Jesus to break those blood ties in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the blood which was shed on the cross to break those blood ties, to break those blood ties, to break those blood ties in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, have no fellowship with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. The word of God says, don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner of wickedness? 
darkness? How can light live with darkness? Well, how many can there be between Christ and the devil? Break those soul ties. Break those soul ties. Break those soul ties. Break that attachment. Pray for the blood of Jesus to separate you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to detach you. Pray for the blood of Jesus to break off those connections. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God says, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to detach your soul. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to separate your soul. Pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to separate your soul, to detach your soul, to detach your soul, to detach your soul, to detach your soul soul from every evil covenant, from every evil altar, from every evil altar, from every evil throne, from every point of contact, from every prison. In the name of Jesus, pray for the blood of Jesus to break off those ties, 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 to break off those ties. In the name of Jesus, pray for the blood of Jesus to break off those ties. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare freedom. Begin to declare freedom. Begin to declare freedom. Begin to declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. In the name of Jesus. 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 The word of God says in Isaiah 51 verses 14. Soon all you captives will be released. Imprisonment, starvation, and death will not be your fate. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ. The book of Romans chapter 3 verses 5 says to us. Yet God in his grace freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. Declare freedom. 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 In the name of Jesus. Declare that my soul is free in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Jeremiah 30 verses 10. So do not be afraid Jacob my servant. Do not be dismayed Israel says the Lord for I will bring you home again from distant lands and your children will return from from their exile, Israel will return to a life of peace and quiet, uh, and no one will terrorize them. Declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Uh, the prophet David says uh, in Psalm chapter. 142 verses 7 Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name the righteous shall surround me for you shall deal bountifully with me ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of prison ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of prison ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of prison ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of soul ties ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of the law out of the curses out of the condemnation ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of the altars ask for the Lord to bring your soul out of prison in the name of Jesus Christ declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom in the name of Jesus 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 Galatians chapter 5 verses 1 says to us it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not be encumbered once more by a yoke of slavery declare freedom in the name of Jesus declare freedom in the name of Jesus declare Declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 5 verses 13 says to us, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom over your soul. Declare freedom over your home. Declare freedom over your family. Declare freedom. Declare freedom from every attachment, from every evil communion, from every evil connection, from every point of contact. Declare freedom. Declare freedom from every evil evil alliance declare freedom from every evil throne declare freedom declare freedom in the name of Jesus Exodus 13 verses 3 says to us so Moses said to the people this is a day to remember forever the day you left Egypt the place of your slavery today the Lord has brought you out by the power of his mighty hand declare freedom declare freedom declare I am free in the name of Jesus Christ I am free in the name of Jesus Christ I am free in the name of Jesus Christ I am free in the name of Jesus Christ I am free in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, the prophet David said in Psalm 105. In Psalm 108, sorry, verses 5. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered and set me free. Declare freedom, 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 declare freedom in the name of Jesus. So if the sun sets you free, you are truly free. Declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom over your soul, declare freedom over your soul, declare declare freedom over your soul, declare freedom over your soul, declare freedom over your soul in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. So the word of God says, I will say to the prisoners, come out in freedom and to those in darkness, come into the light. They will be my sheep grazing in green pastures and on hills that were previously bare, that were previously bare, that were previously bare. Declare freedom, 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 declare freedom. The word of God says we have died with Christ and he has set us free from the spiritual powers of this world. Begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to cover you. Begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to fight in your favor. Begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to shelter you and your family. Begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to serve as a seal upon your life, upon your family, upon your home. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to cover you, seal seal you in the name of Jesus begin to pray for the blood of Jesus to fight in your favor begin to pray for the power of the blood of Jesus to defend you in the name of Jesus begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ begin to declare victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, begin to thank the Lord. Thank him for everything that he has done. Thank him for his wonderfulness. Thank him for his righteousness. Thank him for his unfailing love. Thank him for his overwhelming victory. Thank him for his great power and his great strength. Thank him for his divine intervention. Thank him for his blessings. Thank him for his favor. Thank him for his compassion. Thank him for his mercy. In the name of Jesus, lift him up, glorify him, magnify him, give him a Give him acclamation because he is the most high God, the king enthroned on high. Thank him for he has answered your prayer. Thank him for strengthening you. Thank him for he has restored you. Thank him for everything that he has done. Praise his name. Worship his name. Exalt his name. Glorify his name. Give allegiance. Give acclamation to his name in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father in heaven, for your intervention. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your presence. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we believe, Lord, and we have faith, Lord, that a prayer that we have just done has gone to your throne of grace. We believe, Father in heaven, and we have faith, Father in heaven, and that you, Almighty God, will perform miracle signs and wonders through this prayer that we have done. We believe, Father, and we have faith, Lord, that anything that we ask in the name of Jesus, it shall be granted. Father in heaven, your word says that you confirm the words of your servant. Father, as your humble servant, I pray and I declare, Father, that you, almighty God, that you deliver, almighty God, Father, all your children, that you restore all your children, that you, Father in heaven, transform all your children, that you strengthen the prayer lives of your children in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Heavenly Father, that no one will be able to stand against us as long as we live, and you shall be with us as yours with Moses. Father in heaven, I pray, may every obstacle in the way of your children, may every barrier in the way of your children, in the way of our prayer lives, fall down in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, your word says, the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. We declare that the work of the devil is destroyed. We declare that the work of the devil will not prevail. We declare that the work of the devil will not succeed. And we declare, Father in heaven, that we will see the fruits of our prayer. We bless and we celebrate your holy name. We seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen.